Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. It has been a busy couple weeks. Um, I have been sort of MIA. I tried to take a mini vacation the week of 4th of July, which didn't really pan out, but still it was wonderful. So I hope everyone had a great 4th. Um, it is already Thursday this week. It is flying by. Um, we've been absolutely just completely slammed, which is great. It's great for our clients. It's great for our business. It's great for everyone. It's great for the market. Um, we've been really busy with the Dudley Mansion. So I just listed the Dudley Man Mansion, which is a huge historic property in downtown Wilmington. Um, so that's been good. It was featured in the Wall Street Journal and Huffington Post and a lot of other sources. Um, and it's brought up a really good topic for me and with people I've talked to is about media and um, utilizing that sort of PR and that media and s along with social media. And I think that's a really... Um, strong feature or asset that I have, I guess, for my sellers is that exposure that I'm able to give them. Um, and I think that that is an area where agents need to sort of pay attention to because, you know, you're able to utilize social media along with mainstream media and really create a lot of buzz on certain properties and um, generate a lot more interest than you would with just standard means of advertising or marketing. So um, I think it's just a really good, um, brings up just such a great great point of how to utilize all those things together to drive that traffic and drive that interest to the property. So um, I think it's just a really another um, thing, you know, sellers need to really make sure that the agent you're hiring when you're selling your house is utilizing those tools and is utilizing um, social media as well as mainstream media, you know, to generate as much interest as they can in themselves, their brand, as well as their properties. Um, so anyways, it's good to know if your agent has been featured on a news piece or if the news or at a, a local, um, you know, newspaper or business journal or whatever has come to them and interviewed them and asked them for things because that means that they're trusted in the community in real estate and they're known for it. And that ultimately means your property is going to get probably more exposure than it would with someone who doesn't have those assets. So just something to think about. These are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at Jessica Edwards at seacoastrealty.com. And of course, you can always check us out at thecarolinasfinest.com. Thanks so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.